YouTube or anybody else who's watching this video this is comp helps MVP dude and today I'm gonna do my very best to show you how to make a PSP theme you've seen it in my last video how to download them onto your PSP and how to get them on today I'm gonna attempt to show you how to like actually make them okay it's not that hard it's just a long process okay um the programs I'm going to use today is Macromedia Fireworks 8, GIMP 2, the Theme Converter, and Icons if you have them. Okay, that's not really a program, but whatever. Just a side note, if this video takes really long, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to split it up into parts. Okay, because my intro is very long, and this video is just going to be packed with information, so I I'm not going to, like, rush through it and say, okay, first you open a Macromedia Fireworks 8, and then GIMP 2, and then... No, I'm gonna take my time so it's understandable and people learn. Okay, so if you need to go straight to part two. Okay, right after I'm going to upload part by part by part. That way, you don't have to wait another week just to learn it. Okay. Okay, I will post links for each of these programs, but all three of these programs. Okay. Macromedia Fireworks 8 is not a free program, but you can get a free trial, a 30-day free trial. GIMP 2 is a totally free program, and the Theme Converter is a totally free program. All right. Um. Okay. I have my icons here. All right, and I'll show you where to get icons. Um. Just. Um. Before you use them, or if you're gonna put them up for download or whatever. Um, make sure you ask the icon maker for permission to use them, okay? Or else you can get in so much trouble, okay? Alright, so first let's open up internet so we can find our icons before we do anything, alright? So, come on internet, work. Believe me, it's a really easy process, just like, repeat. It's a lot of repeat. Okay, you go to Google. Okay, and you type in PNG icons. Okay. A really good site is crystalxp.net. A really good site. It's it's good. Well, just cuz, you know, it's just right there. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure this is the site. Pretty sure. Hope it is. Okay. Good site right here. You want to look for a theme that has a lot of icons, okay? Uh, play, like this one right here, it only has three icons, okay? And you need more than that to make a PSP theme, unless you don't want to make it that complex, okay? So really just go and download whichever one you want. Now, you want to download the PNGs because that means that they're high, higher quality, as you can see right here, these these uh, icons are real high quality and uh, the sizes are big okay you need at least at least 64 by 64 at least okay 64 by 64 icon big icons case okay, in size or else they're gonna come out all blurry and they're not gonna look good okay I already have my icons but really okay uh, uh, let me show you how to download them Let's just say, for instance, you want this one right here, Lucent's Repack. Go to More Info and Download. All right, simple as this. It's very easy. 
the file size is 10.32 megabytes and it tells you right here how many icons and stuff there are 128 by 128 so that's perfect you have the 64 by 64 and everything you just click download and then if it comes in a zip file then you're done okay all right next you want to get your icons these are the icons I picked otherwise known as my tech red icons okay I have not made these I think I got them off I would forget what site okay these are not I did not make these I just used them okay what you want to do is open up Macromedia Fireworks 8. Okay. At the same time, let's wait for this to open. That way my computer doesn't get all slow. Okay. Let's go show desktop and also open up the theme converter just so you can follow along with me. Let's skip all this for now. Skip wallpaper because you don't know what your thing's going to look like yet. You want to get an idea category icons the settings the photo the music the video the TV I haven't seen the TV before I think that's only for PS3 use I don't know PS3 if you're I don't know remote connect or something I don't know I've never seen TV I don't know what it's for but you still do it game and network okay these icons right here they have to be size 64 by 48 okay so what you do is you go to Macromedia Macro Fireworks 8 and this is very important okay create new fireworks file 64 by 48 next go to canvas color make sure you do transparent yes I'm gonna show you how to make transparent icons okay they're not gonna be all the noobish uh, block with your background wallpaper okay I'm gonna show you how to get high qual how to make high quality icons okay so then you click transparent you click OK. Now you'll see right here that those dots. That means that you successfully made it transparent. Okay, that's the background. There's no background. Okay, so now it's easy from here. And to make sure, go to modify to make sure that your canvas size is the right size. Go to canvas size, 64 by 48. Get used to using modify canvas. Okay, get used to using that because you're gonna need that. All right, and also get used, get to know the sidebar right here. Okay, really, all I use personally is the font and the zoom. Okay, go ahead and mess with them if you want or whatever. Okay, so let's open up the icon folder again and let's look on our custom theme converter. First icon is settings. Okay, so just out of these, just pick any if you just want to. This is an example. Settings. These look cool because they look like gears, right? So all you would have to do, hold on, what's, why is this open? Okay, that's the theme converter. Settings. Minimize this. Okay, you're at your icons. Simply drag it and drop it in the fireworks um, project. Drop it, okay? Now you minimize the icons folder, and there it is. It's really huge, okay? Because it's bigger than 64 by 48. Um, in size, okay. So what you do is make sure you have your mouse, one of these mouses selected, or as a shortcut, cut press one, okay. Next, you go to this one of these corners right here, and drag it all the way to the square, to the end of that square. It should lock in, as you can see right here. It's locking in. Let go, and then do the opposite corner. Do the corners because then it saves you a lot of time. Then it locks in and let go. Okay. Now, is that how you want your icon to look all stretched out like that? I don't think so. To get a better look of what it looks like, you go to the zoom tool, click it, and simply click, drag, and let go. And there you go. Boom. You're zoomed in. Okay. Next, press one again or one of these arrows. And let's make this to where it doesn't look so stretched out simply go to one of these diagonals and drag across but make sure you're still um, attached to that side okay so just like this let's say right there that icon looks pretty good now so then drag it to about eh, just the middle okay so that looks pretty good